back again with another ROM review and this time I've got Gummy ROM for Galaxy S3. Now uh, Gummy ROM has been released for other phones and this is the first time it has been released on the Galaxy S3 and it has now got a series of ROMs. The nightlies are being released every day and the one I'm going to m uh, make a video for now is the release version which was released on 20th uh, January so let's get into the ROM now first of all what you would see here is the lock screen which is pretty standard for a KitKat ROM so nothing special in that um, you do have something called the handle changer which you can from which you can change the lock lock handle from the lock icon to the star of gummy so you do have that now you can see it uses uh, the normal um, light experience launcher which without the uh, swipe to go now feature from the cyanogen mod ROMs so that it is a light version you can see the wallpaper is a specialized gummy wallpaper so yeah the name actually does sound a lot uh, like a food something I really like that one okay now in the uh, settings menu you can see there are a lot of settings for the um, special functions in this ROM first of all let's go to the about phone page in the about phone page you can see status all of these uh, it is Android 4.4.2 so it is KitKat Gummy M1 release version so it must be uh, more stable this is actually most stable version yet the nightlies are still coming on every day so I'm not going to make a video of it because it will be outdated by the time the video comes out so yeah um, yeah so that's it from the about phone page let's go to the extra settings now first thing I would like to show is about team gummy so you do have the uh, Garrett code review from here you can see the gummy uh, logo here so you can go for to their uh, Twitter account to follow them or whatever you want so yeah the developers names are here so you can chase them after so whatever uh, in the gummy setting first of first one we see is gummy interface so what are in the gummy interface now uh, first settings which you would see are uh, status bar settings which is normal status bar setting with a lot of function okay uh, this one does take a bit of a bit of inspiration from science and mod but not entirely everything so that really makes it a unique ROM not just a silage and mod clone so that really makes it unique so first option we have is clock date so you can actually have center clock or right aligned clock AM PM indicator date and date style with date format so you do have that option or you can just hide clock and date altogether so that is an option there um, you do have battery icons a few icons are available like this one um, mostly a large amount of icons are available icon percentage with percentage you can have a uh, bolt charging icon etc so you it is all covered so that's pretty great battery bar you do have the option for battery bar you can have the battery bar option you can see that right now uh, the thickness alignment center alignment charging animation you do have all that functionality signals uh, you can have signal bar signal text dbm text something okay so you do have that um, uh, signal text color breathing missed call and breathing SMS that is when uh, you get a missed call the icon in the status bar uh, fades in and fades out so that is what is what's meant by the breathing so that is available now let's get into the other settings now we have notification drawer setting where you can change the carrier label and uh, have the uh, hide the carrier label or whatever of these things so that's pretty cool you do have clock click action you can click the clock icon and have something pop up you have short click long kick and double click actions so yeah you do have a notification drawer style like background transparency notification transparency and again that's a pretty cool feature uh, you have quick setting now the quick setting in this one is more like AOKP quick setting from the 4.3 range so that is really really a great feature to have because I really like the um, quick settings in the AOKP ROMs because they are simple uh, doesn't require much uh, you you have all of these you can change them around they're not graphical they are list style but they can they are kind of like this so you can change toggles it does have a lot of toggles that's some one of my favorite feature about AOKP styled um, this one so you do have all of these features available so that is again a perk of it so yeah you do have toggle style uh, you can have traditional which is uh, this one 
to which I will show you. You can have traditional which enable or disable from this or you can have scrollable which is again pretty cool. Uh, you can get the kind of like the power widgets in the earlier functions of ROM so you do have that but this one well you can have this or you can just enable the uh, other features so that's pretty cool you in the tiles and function also you have toggles per row which i really missed in the cyanogen one roms because it doesn't have uh, quick setting styles so you do have toggles per row you can change it to whatever you want enable fast toggle you can uh, toggle from uh, one side if you uh, drop down the menu it will go directly into the uh, tiles menu so that's pretty cool uh, custom toggle if you have enabled custom uh, toggles in the tiles you can uh, select what is going to be the custom toggle for so you can have that that's again a really great feature what else do we have now uh, hardware keys you have full remapping of all the hardware keys and even backlight settings here you do have the overflow uh, button that is three dot menu overflow button so if you don't use these hardware buttons for uh, navigation purposes you can use this one to have a three button over overflow here so that's pretty cool speaking of navigation you do have navigation bar which you can enable and disable at a moment's notice and you can have all the buttons changed you can have extra buttons you can have extra apps so it's really modular and things like that so I'm not going to get too much into that it's really simple you have options for power menu also where you can select what all options are here so you can add things you can delete things if you don't want it uh, it's pretty cool it's really awesome uh, lock screen settings in the lock screen setting you do have a few styles this is what I was talking about lock handle icon you can change it to gummy icon which gives you a star instead of the lock icon so this is it so yeah it's kind of modular it's pretty cool you can have your own uh, custom icon also if you want that so it is available there you can change the frame colors dot colors uh, lock colors whatever you want so that's pretty cool you can enable the widget from here you can enable rotate rotation lock screen rotation or battery around unlock ring that also that's pretty cool what else do we have now uh, you can enable power sound from here you can select the notification sound whatever you want so you can have that CRT screen of animation you can enable that for the CRT animation in the horizontal or portrait direction or you can disable it for the fade animation so that is available there uh, device options you can see advanced display adaptive backlight and yeah that is the uh, options available so yeah there is uh, availability blacklist now this one has a built-in blacklist app which uh, which you can change uh, you can have this option to um, actually select the various contacts which you want to have or if you want to just block someone uh, someone's number for SMS and calls you can just add it here and you do have a few options also so that's pretty cool um, it has is cool that is built in you do have app ops which actually is a privacy control if you feel that one a particular app does not require a particular um, permission you can just disable them like you can just disable reading anything so yeah you can have that but do be careful because it can actually break the app because some permissions are mandatory so so that is it for the gummy interface settings now uh, on to the other setting you do have themes which are pretty accessible uh, which well it's a cyanogen mod feature so nothing too much about that you do have app settings which uh, gives you the settings for all the system apps from the settings menu so that is kind of cool maybe um, so yeah that is it for the gummy rom extra settings let me show you guys the boot animation so here is the boot animation for gummy rom which is pretty cool it's a new one it's that's what really matters for me uh, I need something different every time so that's pretty cool it is it does provide that so yeah uh, that actually does it these are the apps with which it comes it doesn't have a uh, file manager which kind of threw me off because I would like a file manager to install the uh, Antutu benchmark for but I have uh, compared the Antutu benchmark and it's similar to whatever you would expect so it's nothing more it's 18 uh, for me the previous time I used it was 18690 so yeah that's 
nothing too much or nothing to be amazed of but still it's pretty cool so yeah uh, and the battery life i would like to mention the battery life because yeah you guys really asked for it um uh, i my tests include uh one day of usage and two hours of uh music playback and after all that uh my battery level at the end of at evening was at night was about 43 percentage so it's considered a medium to high usage for me and uh, that is what i was left with it was 43 percentage so i would consider that to be a normal usage so yeah so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye